Okay. Let's do it. Should we do this? Should we actually do this? Is this a good idea? Let's we'll go. find out. Is this a good idea? Is this a good idea? Is this a good idea? We'll find out. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Welcome hey. back to Whiskey Dixon. I'm Sugar Bear. I'm Kurt. Today, we are reviewing Jameson. Because, I mean, you know, we do all our reviews on a Jameson barrel. I oftentimes wear the Jameson hat. I got Jameson shoes. Got Jameson shoes. Jameson shoes. And, uh, yeah, we haven't actually reviewed any Jameson products yet on Oops. the show. Because we figured you guys probably know about them, but... In the spirit of St. Patrick's Day, we figured it'd probably be a good idea to review kind of like all of them. So we're gonna we're gonna run the gauntlet here. So we are starting with the the OG of the of the Jameson family of products. Classic triple Just distilled. Jameson whiskey, yeah, eighty proof, as low as possible, but that's okay. It's very smooth. It's nicer than I remember on the nose. It's eighty percent pot still whiskey and then twenty percent grain whiskey. Particularly corn. I just like corn whiskey, isn't that weird? Um, and another thing that's interesting about Jameson, it's made at the Middleton Distillery, which is where they make Powers, Red Breast, all the spots, uh, clink, clink, clink. Um, I feel like I'm missing something else they make. No, patties. They make patties. Uh, I guess that's it. Anyways, let's, let's begin. Easier than I it's remember. It's like the smoothest thing ever, yeah. Mm. Yep. Slightly oaky. But not really. It's like spicy, sweet. It's Jameson. Like, how do you even describe Jameson? It's just so... It's a little sweeter than I remember. It's not like standard Irish whiskey, I would say. Anyway, let's move on to IPA Castmates Edition. So, this one... It's finished in a barrel that uh, held like a barrel aged IPA. So the idea here was to get like a little bit of the trace amounts of like the hops. Yeah, actually on the nose, you hella smell it. Like you get that minty, zesty, almost rye like. I actually didn't remember it being that hoppy. Oh, well, compared, like if you go from normal to that, it's not super hoppy. It's there, but I mean... You taste a lot on your breath and stuff out right after, you know. Now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, when you take a whole shot of it, it's pretty hoppy. Now we're moving on to Stout Edition. So, Stout. same idea as the IPA, but aged in a barrel that held Stout. Barrel aged Stout. To me, this one makes more sense than the IPA one because more often than not, when you're drinking Jameson, you're drinking it with like a Guinness or some sort of Irish stout alongside of it. So <sighs> this, one just, nice. this one just makes perfect sense to me. Like this is like, yeah, the, this, why wouldn't you do this? That one smells really nice. Yeah, I get like chocolate. I'm not used to trying all these side by side the same. It's thing. interesting actually. They're, they're more different than I thought they'd be. That was delicious. The stout one is great. I didn't realize how much different that tastes. Oh yeah, isn't that crazy? Mates. It's crazy how much the stout comes through on the finish. Rich coffee, smooth chocolate, butterscotch. Delicious. Oh. All right, Black Barrel. This one, and we have not set price points on any of these. 20 bucks. 20 bucks <laughs> for all of them. No, it's not true. I don't know. The big handle of Jameson, 50 bucks. Yeah, the castmates. I'd say normal Jameson. Just under 30. Yeah, fifth is probably what, 24 bucks, 25 bucks. 25 to like 30, few. approximately. Um, here we got Black Barrel. This one comes in a little pricier. This one's like 40. This is a really good one. It's aged in 
a barrel that is recharged, essentially recharred really is what that means. Um, so a heavily charred refill cask. Uh, that that smells super oaky. Like a nose. much better quality Almost like whiskey. a bourbon. I get a lot of the, a lot more tannins, a lot more burnt, burnt wood. Oh yeah, that's, that's a little more pleasant. It's got more depth to it for sure. Delicious. I could spend some time sipping that one. A lot of vanilla. Mm. A lot of oak, a lot of spices. Yeah, I'd say that's about uh, up there with, with pretty high quality uh, Irish, stuff. Irish whiskey. No, actually this is probably my favorite of all like the standard Jameson releases you find. I, I really like this one. <sighs> that's a sipper. Not on St. Patrick's Day. Woo wee! Ugh, okay. Delicious. Need a pick me up now. So we're going with Jameson Cold Brew. This one comes in a little weaker. This one's 30%, so 60 proof. And it's not really like whiskey, right? I mean, it's more it like, is. it's like it's a whiskey. Flavor. It's whiskey like and coffee. It's Jameson Irish whiskey infused with natural cold brew coffee flavor. No it's added pretty, sugar. It's pretty much coffee liqueur. Yeah. So it's like whiskey, it's coffee flavored, 30%. Ooh, yeah, it does not smell like any of the other. Oh, sh <laughs> 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 Just looking at it, I'm like, oh, damn it. Geez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What have we gotten into here? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, that smells like... Um, Old black coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say like Mexican chocolate where it's like it's got a hint of like spiciness to it. That's not bad. It's not like overwhelmingly sweet or coffee or a anything. A lot more chocolate than coffee, I'd say. Yeah. Like a lot of dark chocolate. Cacao. No, for sure. Um, I'd say way more chocolate than uh, it's coffee. It's kind of good. I don't really drink liqueurs that much, so it's kind of weird. I mean, I, that after I never really drink liqueurs. Whiskeys, so. I'm glad we ended with this one, because uh, it would have ruined the palate. Oh, we're sending? Coffee. Delicious. Coffee. Chocolate. Oh, yeah. Grab the black barrel, I guess. <laughs> Alright, toast. And now a public service announcement from Whiskey Dixon. Uh, we are trained professionals. Do not attempt this at home. Uh, unless you're of drinking age and it's St. Patrick's Day and you're not driving anywhere, then by all means, just know your limits. Uh, don't hurt yourselves. Um, Yeah, we just did about five shots in just as many minutes, so might as well do another one. Jeez. Yeah, St. Patrick's Day, why not? You know, on, on this day, many thousands of years ago, St. Patrick drove all the snakes out of Ireland. So we like to always say, what, what do we say, Kurt? We have a... Cheers, a cilantro, we say, salute. We say no snakes. No snakes. Let's, let's drink. drink. <laughs> oh wait, if you like this, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up. Uh, let us know. You know what that means. We have to do it all. <laughs> you okay? Go, Kurt, go. Happy St. Patty's Day from us at Whiskey Dixon. Cheers, slancha, keep on drinking.